Happening today, back to class in Perry Township, first large Marion County district to return. Mask policies are a focus of discussions as schools welcome students back. News 8's Anna Mordeaux went to Southport Middle School to learn more. And school is now underway here at Southport Middle School. The district and the school literally rolled out the red carpet for students as they walked through the doors this morning. And the Marion County Health Department, they say students and staff who are unvaccinated should mask up indoors here in Perry Township. The district says masks are optional inside school for K through 12 students. As kids got to school this morning, though, they were greeted by staff dressed in tuxedos and tiaras just celebrating being back in the classroom. The district wants to build enthusiasm among students after last year being so unpredictable due to COVID and it's just happy to have these kids back in person. I think it's because I would want my own child to feel this way when they come to school to let them know that this is a celebration of them and they're really why we exist so that would be the reason. And how are you feeling about it? Oh, so excited. <laughs> Ready to go. All of our buildings will be doing something um, as their students return to say hey um, we're glad to have you back and get started for this 21-22 school year. Is COVID still at top of mind? Obviously, it'll be on a topic all school year long. And, you know, we'll be monitoring our cases and, and making adjustments as we are mask optional right now for our students. But as everyone knows, a federal mandate, you have to have a mask on a school bus. So we're telling all of our parents, make certain each day that your student has a mask with them in case we have a, a need within a classroom to have our students mask up. When it comes to the Marion County Health Department, they say students should maintain a social distance of three feet. Plus, the department recommends masks be worn indoors for all unvaccinated students, teachers, and staff, as well as anyone with any underlying condition, regardless of vaccination status. Now, here in Southport, superintendent says they'll be watching the COVID situation closely, but they're just excited to see smiling faces as kids walk back into school today. In Southport, Hannah Mordeaux, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.